Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Ha. I'm the founder and CEO of Red Pulse. I'm super excited to be at the Beyond Blocks Tokyo Summit today. Thank you very much for your time, Jonathan. Yeah. How do you how do you like the conference so far? What do you think about it? The conference is great. It's the uh, it's the second Beyond Blocks conference that I've been at. The first one being in Bangkok, and you guys have knocked it out of the park again. Thank you for the kind words. What brought you back again? Oh, just the community yeah. and the great energy that I got from the first conference really got me excited to join the second, and very honored to be a speaker here as well. Thank you. So, Jonathan. Um, Red Pulse, could you give us like a 30,000 foot view of what Red Pulse is? Absolutely. So Red Pulse is a tokenized research ecosystem for China. And what we've done is created a platform that compensates outside contributors of knowledge on financial markets for their good ideas and their good analysis. Amazing. Sounds very interesting. And Red Pulse was the first uh, ICO on the NEO chain. Why did you choose NEO? Great question. So NEO. Uh, by nature is originating from China, from the Asia area, and that aligned from a market perspective very well with what we're doing at Red Pulse. Second, from a technology perspective, they've been able, I think, to learn a lot of great lessons from the blockchain infrastructures that came before. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, pioneers in the space. And I think NEO has also looked at what they've been able to achieve, take some good lessons learned, but also avoid perhaps some of the pitfalls that they've also come across. And finally, I know the team quite well. You know, they're, they're also in Shanghai. We're in Hong Kong and Shanghai. And so there was a lot of opportunities to be able to work very closely with them. Yeah. And that was very meaningful for yeah. us as well. That sounds like a very important factor as well. Absolutely, yeah. So <clears throat> you already have a product and you guys are launching um, the new platform soon, I believe. I'm not sure what Q3. Q3. Yeah. Um, how has ha already having a product helped you and basically bring this new, uh, the newer version of the product sure. on, the, on the blockchain. It's helped us immensely because I think what, uh, what sets us apart from a lot of the other groups out there is that we have been operating as a business for over three years now and we have an existing client base that uses our product on an ongoing basis. And the client base that we have actually are the top banks, banks and asset managers globally. So that brings with it a lot of credibility and also a very strong demonstration that there is demand for the types of services that we're providing. And also, uh, another question that I have for you is, so you're a Chinese company, right? A Taiwanese company. We're a Hong Kong. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. company. Yes. But you guys work with the Chinese market. I would, right. I would rephrase that question. Okay, sorry. So you work with the Chinese market and uh, you've already been doing that for a few years now. Could you tell us more about what it takes for companies outside of China to be able to work with Chinese companies, specifically in the blockchain space? Well, to, to clarify, we don't work with Chinese companies, but the market that we cover is China, mm -hmm. right? And so there is no restriction on outside parties, outside of greater China, to be able to cover that market because information is information. But in terms of the flow of that information, the access to that information, it's very asymmetrical right now. And so for those people that are within China, that work for financial institutions or corporates within China, they have a much better understanding of market dynamics than people that are outside of China. And we're looking to bridge that divide. Thank you very much for the clar clarification. No worries. And last question for you. 2017 was a big year for cryptocurrencies and for blockchain technology. 2018, although it's a bearish market, it's still, many people believe it will be a big year. What are your thoughts and the outlook for 2018 for the blockchain? Sure, uh, well I, I welcome the current market environment that we're in because it helps us to uh, focus on what we need to do, which is to build, right? So during a bear market, when everyone else is focused on the prices, we're focused on building the platform that will ultimately create value for the RPX token because it's that token that has the value of being able to access this research. And the quicker that we can get to that execution level, the better it is for our community. Well, I'll be following Red Pulse for sure and good luck with everything. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.